Pentagon prepared instructions for Ukrainian military on use of U.S. weapons on Russian territory. The Pentagon has prepared special instructions for the Ukrainian military on the use of American weapons on Russian territory. The New York Times reports this. The American newspaper citing sources claims that the Pentagon is preparing instructions for the Ukrainian armed forces containing information about targets that can be attacked with American weapons. It is unknown when these instructions will be sent to Ukraine and other details are also missing. Meanwhile, as the Pentagon itself confirmed, Biden did give Zelensky permission to strike Russian territory with American weapons, but only as part of a counter-battery fight. Otherwise, the U.S. position on the use of weapons against Russia has not changed. Washington opposes the use of missiles for these purposes. As Deputy Pentagon spokesperson Sabrina Singh emphasized, as soon as the position changes, the Pentagon will immediately let you know about it. This is our policy and nothing has changed. From the very beginning, we have always said that the security assistance we provide to Ukraine is intended for use within Ukraine. If anything changes, we will of course let you know. Singh told reporters at a briefing. According to some American publications, Biden previously gave secret permission to Kyiv to use American weapons in the Russian regions bordering the Kharkov region. The president recently directed his team to ensure that Ukraine is able to use U.S. supplied weapons for counterfire purposes in the Kharkiv region so Ukraine can hit back against Russian forces that are attacking them or preparing to attack them, a U.S. official said in a statement issued by the administration. Our policy with respect to prohibiting the use of ATA CMS or long-range strikes inside of Russia has not changed. The statement continued, referring to an artillery system provided to Ukraine that has the capability to reach deep inside Russian territory. Russia has warned that it will respond in unspecified ways if the United States shifts policy. Last week, as word of an impending change took place, Russia conducted drills for the forces that move and deploy tactical nuclear weapons in what appeared to be a signal to Washington. Russia has repeatedly played the nuclear card in the 27 months since it invaded Ukraine, mostly notably in October 2022 when it appeared the entire Russian military invasion of Ukraine could collapse. How two Swedish aircraft will change situation on battlefield in Ukraine. The largest military aid package to Ukraine announced by Sweden includes two ASC-890 aircraft with Ariai radars. Ukrainian military political observer of the information resistance group Alexander Kovalenko told the Charter 97 media outlet website what kind of planes these are and how they can change the situation on the battlefield. ASC-890, also known as Saab-340, is a long-range radar reconnaissance and surveillance aircraft, which in the case of Ukraine is intended primarily to support F-16 aircraft, which is exactly what they are being transferred for. Currently, we receive intelligence information from our partners using their AWACS, which are in the airspace of Poland, Romania, Bulgaria or over the Black Sea. Plus, there is also satellite reconnaissance, due to which all this information is directly transmitted to Ukraine, he added. According to him, when performing some targeted tasks, for example, target designation for long-range missiles that exceed 100 kilometers, additional operation of the AWACS in conjunction with the F-16 is required. And here, a dilemma arises. NATO countries cannot be in Ukrainian airspace in order, for example, to support the F-16, which is carrying out combat missions in the east. If we are talking about the south of Ukraine, then the F-16, which would carry out certain tasks with appropriate missile weapons in the left bank of the Kherson region and even in the Zaporozhye region, could receive support from the airspace over the Black Sea, Romania or the same Moldova. But when we talk about the east of Ukraine, the range of reconnaissance equipment of the AWACS aircraft operating in Poland, for example, was simply not enough. Therefore, it is necessary that such an aircraft be located somewhere in the airspace of western Ukraine or somewhere closer to the central part of the country. These couldn't be NATO planes, he said. Experts said that the transfer of the Saab 340 aircraft to Ukraine will allow us to carry out such combat missions in the east of the country. And not only in the east, if we receive permission to carry out strikes with appropriate weapons on the territory of the Russian Federation, 
then this will allow us to carry out strikes on it, which will significantly expand our capabilities. The plane itself can safely cruise in the region of western or central Ukraine without entering the risk zone, providing our fighter aircraft with all necessary information.